Um, I was asked to go to Pompeii and Herculaneum to uh, scan some rooms and some objects as part of um, Catherine's expanded interiors project. Um, three methods that I was asked to use were uh, the Faro laser scanner for scanning rooms, so large spaces, the Artec space spider, which is an instrument we use for scanning objects, and a technique called structure from motion where we use a camera to three-dimensionally record objects by taking lots and lots of two-dimensional pictures. The first method I used was using a uh, Faro laser scanner. This is a phase-based scanner that sends a wave out. When it hits an object, it comes back and it measures the wave coming back in and that tells you how far away uh, the object is. And it does some, that something like 950,000 times a second. So the two spaces, one in Pompeii and one in Herculaneum, were scanned using this, uh, the Faro scanner. And from that, we were able to create a point cloud for each of the spaces. And this point cloud represents a three-dimensional model of those spaces. For each of the uh, scans, it was some, somewhere between 24 and 40 million points per scan. So we ended up with a model for each of the rooms, which is about um, 200 million points. From those um, scans, we were able to create what we call orthographic images. And those orthographic images are uh, used to create the model that Catherine used um, to design her art installation. They're metrically correct, so you can take measurements from them. So each of these spaces will have a before with the, all the original um, uh, frescoes and an after, which will be the frescoes and Catherine's work, along with the models within that space. The second method that we used was um, structured light scanning, and this uses uh, an instrument that uses uh, 4K video, and the 4K video um, enables us to produce a three-dimensional model of an object. So each of the cameras work in um, harmony with each other, and there's an algorithm within the machine that calculates the um, three-dimensional shape of the object, and you can do this in real time. Those three-dimensional objects that have been um, scanned um, and now 3D printed can be printed um, as a simple sort of silver plastic, which they are now, or they can be printed with a more realistic texture on the surface. The third method that we used was a, a technique called structure from motion. And this is particularly useful where you've got objects that are quite difficult to scan, particularly where you've got shiny surfaces where you get reflection, so that the structured light scanner um, doesn't work particularly well with them, or particularly if you were using a uh, laser scanner, the laser would bounce off the surface of the object. Structure from motion is a very simple technique where you simply put an object on a turntable and then take images from different angles. So you take a series of images, maybe 36 images going around an object from a low angle, then a medium angle, then a higher angle, and perhaps finally one from the top. In the same way as the structured uh, light scanner, the Artex Space Spider creates uh, an outside skin and an inside skin, the same is true with structure from motion. So again, we have to shell the model and give it a thickness, and then that model can be 3D printed. The big advantage of um, structure from motion is that the images that are used are very high resolution, so we get a very, very good texture on the outside of the image. This was particularly useful for um, the model of Livia, which was a, a silver model or silver bust, which was badly damaged uh, and was the only way that we were able to produce a, a final model with um, using structure from motion. So each of these three methods has produced either a scan of a room that is used to help to um, design the installation or produce them objects or three dimensional objects that are going to go into the um, final installation.